Hello, this is Adriano Sabo speaking. As you remember from our last video, we compiled a library called uh, Ogri Deps, which is a dependencies for the Ogri project. Ogri project is one of our dependencies for the Ogabu project as well. And this is the home page for the project. And uh, there's a link to download the, the code here to be compiled. And uh, I think, let me see, I downloaded the version 1.9 from this repository here. Uh, I'm actually using this one, version 1-9-0. OK. After downloading this one, you should uncompress the file. As you remember, we had uh, created this uh, home win64 directory here. All we need to do is to uncompress this file, which is the Ogre source code. So just extract here and then we will copy our dependencies that we had created before. All right. As you remember from the last video, we built a Ogre Depths in this Ogre Depths folder. Let's just copy it. Copy this folder into the uh, Ogre that we just uncompressed. So let's just paste it here. Okay. All right. So we already have the source. So let's just go into the directory to execute the building uh, commands. Let me see. So let's go to. Um, Win 64 Simba Ogre Depths. No, Simba Ogre. Okay. And here we have everything. Let's just create a, a folder here. Make your uh, build. Uh, and then we should. Before we compile the code, actually. It's very important to change a few uh, configuration file here. Let me show you. Explorer. OK, so let's first of all, let's check the file called uh, CMake list. OK, let's open it. And then we should search for a, a line here, a line where we have a March something, I guess I-606, yes, this one. Let's change this, change this value to uh, x86-64. So in this case, we will guarantee the, the compilation for a 64 platform. That's it. We need to change only this. And uh, now we have to run a CMake to build everything. Paste this line here which contains everything we need, some parameters that we configured, we have to configure it. Let's, let's see a prefix 
installation we will install in uh, min w64 root directory we will install in the min w64 directory we will use um, make as for the min w32 version we will say that ogre dependencies directory is the one that we just copy and pasted uh, the build type it will be a release you can also specify the bug mode if you wish this uh, ogre build samples we are not going to compile the build samples we will not also compile the rendering system for DirectX we will only use OpenGL as I said in a previous video okay so that's why we are setting these options to off and then let's hit enter and wait for a few minutes to get everything compiled successfully um, it will depend on the performance of your machine actually in my case it usually takes uh, 15 minutes something around that I will pause the video and continue when it's done all right after a few seconds uh, compilation process shows a lot of uh, libraries that was detected during the process including OpenGL, uh, Boost, TinyXML, uh, OIS, and DirectX, and everything. So, from now on, we are good to go with the building uh, process itself. For this, we will use make uh, min w32 make and after that it will also be installed in a location that we configured so we we call min w make install as well this process will actually take a few minutes i will pause the video and then continue when it's done all right almost there as you can see everything is being installed here after uh, more than 20 minutes <laughs> actually more than I was expecting but everything is okay everything is fine with this installation with this building process as you can see from the huge log as I scroll up okay that's it we just compile Ogre 3D. Let's see. Min W64 slash include. Um, okay, here you can see Ogre directory for the, the header files. And then also for the library. Uh, it is actually in a release sub subfolder uh, release okay that's it and now we are done with Ogre installation and building process in the next video we will show the process of building uh, a GUI API that we are using for our project here which is uh, my GUI okay so that's it for now bye bye